Welcome to Window Clean Resource. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to fan a window. First, you wanna have a good soapy water solution. I got Dawn soap and water. Get a good scrub on the glass. Now, with fanning, let's just say that this bottom half is a complete window. If you are right-handed, you're always gonna start entering on your left. If you're left-handed, you're always gonna start entering on your right. Now, technically with fanning, it doesn't really matter where you start. You could start in the middle, you could start here, but where you're always gonna start is by cutting in on the edge of the frame. So you cut in here, come across the glass. Now, this is the hardest part right here that most people mess up. Once you get to this corner and your elbow gets a little bit uncomfortable, just relax it and bring it back across the glass. And then you're just gonna do this nice S motion, bringing the hill down and closing out at the bottom. Let's go over that again. So we're gonna cut in on our left because we're right-handed. We're gonna work our way over. We're gonna create a mountain. Once we're uncomfortable, we're gonna come back and we're just gonna do that S motion all the way down to bring down the mountain. Now closing out, you can close on the bottom, you can close on the side, it really doesn't matter, because after you're always done fanning, you're always gonna be detailing your edges. Now, like I said earlier, it doesn't really matter where you start. So let's say you were cleaning a large window like this, and you had already cleaned the top half and you just have the bottom half left. One thing I really like to do in fanning is to start in the middle. Why do I do this? If you start on the side, you can get easily a streak or a bead off your squeegee rubber if it's a little bit old, right across the middle of the glass. So when I'm doing it here, start in the middle, I come over, grab my water, come back over, grab my water. And it doesn't leave too much dry area where I'm going over with the squeegee rubber. Another important note is where are your fingers as far as the distance from the glass? If I'm super close like this and I squeegee, it's not gonna turn out very well, and I'm gonna hit my hands against the glass quite a bit. It's just not gonna be a good time. So, the recommended amount is about three inches from the glass, but kind of feel what you're comfortable with. You never wanna have it too much like this, but just a nice grip right here. Sometimes I get questions about, is it this top part of the squeegee rubber that you use when fanning? No, it's the two sharp edges, and that's why you can use both sides of a rubber. So once you're done with this side, you can flip it, use the other side. Um, other things with fanning that are very important is what is your grip like? Are you tightening this and white knuckled? It's just a light grip. It's just your thumb, your finger here, and you're just flowing on the glass. You could literally just put your finger in the handle and that pressure is enough. Those are the common things that I always teach when training a newbie on how to clean windows and how to fan. If you have any questions, comment below. Thank <laughs> you.